Good morning, learners. I am Lalita Bisht, working as Assistant Professor in Department of School uh, IT and Computer Science. Today, I am here to present the topic, the Internet of Things, one of the most talked about topic in Computer Science. Now, imagine a world where uh, the static objects uh, are not just static objects, but are interconnected to each other and they communicate with each other and hence making our life easier and smart. Now that is the essence of Internet of Things. So we will be discussing the uh, contents over here, uh, the history of IoT, IoT definition, how, how IoT works, what is an example of an IoT device, IoT benefits to organization, why is Internet of Things so important, IoT applications, challenges and limitations of IoT, advantages of IoT and disadvantages of IoT. History of IoT. Now, way back in 1999, the term Internet of Things was used by Kevin Eston during his work at PNG, which became widely accepted. It was back in 1999, the term was coined. Now, in 2004, the term was mentioned in the famous publications like Guardian, Boston Globe and Scientific American. In 2005, UN's Na International Telecommunication Union, that is ITU, published its first report on this topic. 2008, the Internet of Things was actually born. So it was year 2008 when the Internet of Things came into use or became a day-to-day, uh, -day, part of day-to-day -day life. Now in 2011, Gartner, the market research company, included the Internet of Things technology in their research. So it was in 2011 that Internet of Things also started and became a part of research field. Uh, this is the IoT timeline. Uh, so I told you as uh, it started from 1990s. Way back in 1990s, uh, IoT concept was used in airplanes and satellites. De uh, decade by decade, it is progressing and growing. And today we can see there, we are, there are several smart devices which we are using in a home day-to-day -day life and in a home which are all IoT based. Now IoT definition. According to Wikipedia, the Internet of Things describes physical objects or group of such objects with sensors. So in IoT, sensors play very important role. So Internet of Things describes physical objects with sen sensors, processing ability, software and other technologies that connect and exchange the data with other devices and system over the internet or other communication network. This is the definition we will find in Wikipedia. Actually next, the internet of things is a system of interrelated communicating device. This is the basic definition of IoT. It is actually a system of interrelated communicating device. These devices can be mechanical, digital machines, objects, animals or people that are provided with unique identifiers and ability to transfer data over a network. Now without requiring human to human intervention or human to computer interaction. Now term IoT or Internet of Things have come to describe a number of technologies and research disciplines that enable the internet to reach out into the real world of physical objects. Things having identifier identities and virtual personalities operating in smart spaces using intelligent interface to connect and communicate within social, environmental, and user users context. This is actually in, this is the uh, final definition in 2020. How IoT works? Four phases can describe or four parts uh, can be. This uh, used to describe the working of IoT. First are the sensors or the devices. Second, connectivity. Third, data processing. Fourth, user interface. Sensors. Sensors or the devices. Sensors or devices are the a key com component that helps you to con collect live data from surrounding environment. So, purpose of sensors in IoT is to actually collect the live data from the surrounding environment. All this data may have various levels of complexities. Now this data can be complex 
it could be a simple temperature monitoring sensor a simple data or it may be in form of a video feed so it can be in any form it can be a simple data it can be a complex data and this live data is connected with the help of sensors next is connectivity all the collected data is sent to a cloud infrastructure the data connect collected by sensors is actually sent to the cloud infrastructure and th this is the second part of IT working. Now the sensor should be connected to the cloud using various mediums of communication. Now, now the sensors are interconnected to the cloud and the, they are connected to, to the cloud using medium of different mediums of communication. Now these medium of communication can be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, WAN, satellite networks or mobile. Anything can be used for communication purpose. Third is data processing. Once that data is collected and it, ge it gets to the cloud, the software performs processing on the gathered data. This process can be just checking the temperature reading on the uh, device like AC or heater. However, it can sometimes also be very complex like identifying objects using computer vision on video. So as I already told you, data processing is important because relevant data has to be extracted and this data can be in the simplest form or it can be in a very complex form as well. Fourth is user interface. The information needs to be available to the end user in some way which can be achieved by triggering alarms on their phones or sending them notification through emails or text messages. Now fourth is uh, the data has to be communicated to the or the information has to be finally received by the end users. So user interface is also required. And how can the data or the output uh, be uh, delivered to the user? It can be through their mo mobile phones, a text message, simple text message or through emails. The user sometimes might need an interface which actively checks their IoT system. For example, the user has a camera installed in the home. He wants to access video recording and all the feeds with the, will help with the help of a web server. So these days we, we are very much aware that uh, IoT based cameras are installed in home and we as a user can access those uh, cameras or the video recordings of those cameras from distance as well. It is a part of IoT. Now what is actually an example of Internet of Things device? See what can be example a light bulb that can be switched on using a smart app, uh, smartphone app in a, is an example of IoT. These days many of us uh, see the use of Alexa device at home. So uh, if we uh, instruct Alexa to switch on a light bulb and it does it, so it is a part of IoT. It is a IoT based device. So it is an example of IoT. An IoT device could be a fluffy or a child's toy or as serious as a driverless truck. Some large objects may themselves be filled with many small IoT, smaller IoT components such as a jet engine that now filled with thousands of sensors collecting the and transmitting data back to ma make sure it is operating efficiently. What are the benefits of IoT to organization? Monitor their overall business process. IoT can help any organization to monitor their overall business process. So it is a very important and crucial benefit that IIT provides to an organization. Improve the customer experience. Of course, customer feedback is important for any organization. So their customer experience can also be improved using IoT. Save time and money. Enhance employee productivity. Integrate and adapt business models. Make better business decisions. And generate more revenue. These are the benefits of IoT. Now, why IoT is so important? Over the past few years, IoT has become one of the most important technology of the 21st century. Now that we can, we can connect everyday objects, kitchen appliance, cars, thermostats, baby monitors, to internet via embedded devices, seamless communication is possible between people, processes, and things. By means of low-cost computing, the cloud, big data, analytics, and mobile technologies Physical things can share and collect data with minimum humor, human intervention. Now, application of IoT, as already uh, discussed, few of them are here. Smart thermostats, connected cars, activity trackers, parking sensors, connect health, 
स्मार्ट सिटीज चैलेंजेस वट आई आई टी में फेस इनसफिशेंट टेस्टिंग एंड अपडेटिंग कंसर्न रिगार्डिंग डेटा सिक्योरिटी एंड प्राइवेसी सॉफ्टवेयर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज डेटा वॉल्यूम एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन इंटीग्रेशन विद ए आई एंड ऑटोमेशन डिवाइस रिक्वायर अ कॉन्स्टेंट पावर सप्लाई विच इज डिफिकल्ट एंड इंटरक्शन एंड शॉर्ट रेंज कम्युनिकेशन एडवांटेजेस ऑफ आई आई टी एबिलिटी टू एक्सेस इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम एनी वे एट एनी टाइम ऑन एनी डिवाइस दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एबिलिटी और एडवांटेज ऑफ आई ओ टी इम्प्रूव कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन कनेक्टेड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस ट्रांसफरिंग डेटा पैकेट्स ओवर कनेक्टेड नेटवर्क सेविंग टाइम मनी एंड ऑटोमेटिंग टास्क हेल्पिंग टू इम्प्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ बिजनेस सर्विसेज एंड रिड्यूसिंग द नीड फॉर ह्यूमन इंटरवेंशन डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ आई टी एज नंबर ऑफ कनेक्टेड डिवाइस इंक्रीजेज एंड मोर इंफॉर्मेशन इज शेयर बिटवीन डिवाइसेज द पोटेंशियल दैट हैकर कुड स्टील कॉन्फिडेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज सिंस आई ओ टी इज वर्किंग डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ आई ओ टी एज नंबर ऑफ कनेक्टेड डिवाइस इंक्रीज एंड मोर इंफॉर्मेशन इज शेयर बिटवीन डिवाइसेज द पोटेंशियल दैट अ हैकर कुड स्टील कॉन्फिडेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज सो थेप्थ ऑफ अ हैकर Uh, enterprises may eventually have to deal with massive numbers maybe even millions that is also a disadvantage of iot if there's a bug in the system it is likely that every connected di- uh, device in the network will be corrupted and since there's no international standards of compatibility of iot it's difficult for device from different manufacturers to communicate with each other so these are few disadvantage of iot that is for the day thank you